I was thinking about that meditation I had. It's like an hour into rush hour now, and now a lot of people are starting to come into the park, right? Everyone's out right now. <laughs> Just maxing and relaxing. Ha, oh, what a day. It's all these buildings over here. I can't even see the sun go down. <laughs> we have jumpers. Who are we doing? We already did fire signs, so that would be Earth next. So Taurus, Virgos, and Capricorn. Okay. Well, here's Virgo. Earth sign energy. Queen of Swords. Going to keep shuffling. Should put on some long sleeves. Let's see. So yeah, like, share, subscribe, add value to the channel so we continue to grow. We're going to see what energies are coming towards you, uh, as well as what's currently surrounding you, what's going on in your world at this time, and uh, see if we can get any advice from the tarot about what, um, what to expect, possibly a therapeutic session as well. I like to call them mild forms of entertainment. <laughs> All right, I guess that's it. So grounding you here today, the world card. Okay, Sagittarius energy, so traveling again. Mm, I don't know, I feel like someone's exposing themselves. This is like looking at yourself in a mirror. Here's a mirror, and it's, this is here's someone exposing themselves here. So we got the same thing that we had going on with the fire signs. It's some sort of an introspection. Eight of swords, eight of wands, the queen of swords, and the hermit card. Hmm. Where's my other deck at? Let's send my book back. So let's see. Six of swords. This is some sort of vacation here. So we have the hermit card, right? Hermiting, right? Mm. Basically learning yourself, but it's another phrase or a term I want to use for that. What am I getting here? Well, you're obviously grounding yourself here in this earth energy with the hermit. So you're either being very secretive or you're just, again, learning something new about yourself, which is, which is what I was reading for the fire sign. So you may want to watch that reading here. Queen of Swords, mm -hmm. the Eight of Wands, travel, traveling consultant, traveling personal something here with the Eight of Swords, helping, it's almost like ex exorcism, bringing people out of this hangman state or this hang up state, it reminds me of the Eight of Swords, but the Eight of Swords just always makes you seem so much more dramatic, this person with all these swords around him, yeah, so... This is what's surrounding you at this time. What's Hi, up? sir. You're reading somebody. Are you reading? Yeah, I'm just I'm reading from my YouTube channel. Oh. oh. Yeah. <laughs> so we got the Eight of Swords, and then we got the Six of Swords. Mm -hmm. That was interesting, right? <laughs> this is what's going on right now. <laughs> that was funny. You saw how that happened, right? The Hermit. Queen of Swords. <laughs> you saw that action come in, right? And then this happened here. <laughs> and this is what I'm currently looking at right now. Tiptoeing away Seven of Swords energy. <laughs> well, for the sake of the overall reading or the overall energy here for Earth Signs, let's see. Of course, Virgo Major Arcana came up here, but that's all Earth signs. That's major Earth energy. So it could be a Capricorn or a, um, a Taurus as well. The Queen of Swords, Libra. That is um, some sort of a counselor. It could involve justice, possibly a, a relationship, or um, possibly teaching. We have the Eight of Wands, mm -hmm. which is quick communication or fast travel here. Or again, that's my someone's literally targeting you, targeting you cards. <laughs> and then we have the Eight of Swords here. So let me tell you what happened here. And this is probably a part of me being paranoid right now. So 
I went and got my um, my ID renewed today, which I think I told us to power one. No, I, I said that during my meditation, right? So I got my ID renewed today. <laughs> and I get down here and um, I'm sitting in front of the library, right? Just like how I usually am. And then some random guy came out of nowhere and just started asking me a bunch of questions, right? He was trying to be cool with me at first. And then he started trying to like uh, exchange um social medias with me and i'm like bro why is this guy so friendly he just won't walk away or he see me just like okay like completely ending the conversation right like some damn groupie but of course i felt like it was some uh undercover cop or something like that so hmm. oh well better to not find out right we have the six of swords so this has happened quite a few times today we'll have to turn someone away I actually had one lucky moment this morning, though, so that was quite interesting. Actually got paid for it as well. <laughs> Justice Libra here. <laughs> you know what it makes me think about? It, it makes me think about law and right and wrong. So I let this guy skip me uh, in line today. I was down there at the front of the line, and he paid me $20 to let him skip in line. Not $1. Not $2, not 5 or 10 This man gave me $20 because he was trying to move today. And he only had one day to use the truck. Again, fast travel here. This is what he was stuck in, Eight of Swords energy. <laughs> this man chilled with me the whole time I let him skip. Um, and he paid me that $20. But I um, went to go use the restroom as they was giving us our IDs. But he was already gone. <laughs> Three of Swords, the Hermit. We have a uh, heartbreak here. Oh, man, that energy's coming back again. That person must be watching this reading here. So, of course, this could be third parties, uh, relationships, things like that. Um, someone possibly feels guilty about some hermit energy with the Three of Swords. Okay, so that's what I'm getting. So that energy's coming back about someone having something deep inside of them. Okay, so I don't know if this person knows this person has, like, this must be like past life regression or something like that. Like something happened and someone doesn't remember it happened. It can happen when they was a child or it just could have happened in another lifetime. They was either done wrong or they did some green ass shit. We got eight of pentacles on top of queen of swords. And it's, uh, I think it's coming back to haunt them or they remember something. This could even be, I don't know. So I'm not sure if this person's dreaming or daydreaming. What the hell is going on here? Yikes. Hmm. This is like when someone wipes your memory away or something like that. I don't know. Or it could be like not knowing your family history. Eight of Pentacles. Yet this person is working hard and diligently. I'm not sure if they're working on something. They're reading a book or they're learning law or something like that. Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords. Um, Eight of Pentacles. And for whatever reason... No, I'm not going to say that. That's another hashtag. But, I mean, when you have more authority, right, you lead the pack. We have the Page of Swords energy. So, learning here. Yeah, this could be a student. Eight of Swords. or um, Yeah, someone's definitely watching your multiple social media platforms here. <laughs> this could be good or bad, depending on who the person is. It could be... Um, let's see here what is going on here in earth sign readings so many gnats Jesus did it rain today we have five of wands on top of eight of swords this is fighting or physical training yeah the star card on top of six of swords so the guy wanted to talk with me so bad he's like oh nobody supports you not even your own family it's like i know you i know you're old enough to already know the cliche and saying so why are you sticking around beat it <laughs> but yeah so i'm like bro they always say you have to leave your city or leave your town or whatever the case may be leave your state in order to make it big so why are you here you were born in miami but you're still here could be dealing with an Aquarius. Could be dealing with a Leo here. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, star child. This could be someone very important here. Now it's giving off hot energy. So now I'm finally forced to say it, even though I've been thinking it like, yeah, the Jean Grey and the Phoenix type type thing. Not sure if it has anything to do with someone's good or bad moral compass, but the way she made that, she makes that jump leap, that giant leap from being like the weakest X-Men to like the strongest person in the damn galaxy or her universe or whatever the case may be. This is like someone making a major transformation. It could have been heartbreak. Again, I feel like it's some sort of a forgotten memory here. Got the world card. Mm. Yeah. Seven of Cups. The smoke screen's coming in. Yeah, someone's um, working on their intuitive gifts, which could be like whatever their art is, singing, dancing, painting, playing an instrument. Someone could also be working on a child as well here. We have, okay, so the sun, <laughs> and then there's a seven of cups moment like, uh, I don't know what's going on right now. Like, I don't know whether I'm pregnant or not. Uh, for example, for women or like a guy, this would be like, which one of these dudes? Was it Spider-Man, Tobey Maguire in the first uh, Spider-Man? Where he was like just getting his powers and he didn't know what the hell was going on. We have the four of cups. You don't want to be bothered here. <laughs> Yeah, someone is intent on reaching out to you. This could be uh, well, Page of Swords energy, right? This could be okay. What else am I getting here, though? This could be a lot of fans or a lot of subscribers if you're a content creator. Yeah, Queen of Swords, a counselor with the Sun card. That's creativity. That's games. That's fun, right? Again, that's children as well. Could be talking about children. We got the Four of Cups. After the Four of Cups comes the Fool. Dealing with an Aries or someone obsessed with their body here. But again, this could be adventure, right? This person looks like they're dancing, right? Their hands are open in a receiving position to the universe. So this is someone that has faith here. You probably like to be outside in nature because the sun is up here and we see this them outside of the city. Page of Wands an adventure, a hike, a journey. Some sort of a, a young person, like a child, playing horseplay, or some sort of a sexual curiosity on top of the star card, mm, on top of the six of wands. So you could be creating something. This may well be a child here, or you could be, um, well, Aquarius symbolizes the star, so you could be creating your own stardom, right? Yeah, some sort of a celebrity here. Celebrity with the, the star and the sun. Yeah, people are putting on a pedestal with Six of Wands. And again, this is traveling. Either you or someone else incoming or outgoing here. But yeah, this is people giving you the benefit of the doubt. Maybe you're having some major victory physically as well. It's like walking in the room and lighting it up. Like me, we have the Knight of uh, Pentacles. Mm -hmm. It's like a slow walk or something like that. <laughs> but this is a solid investment coming in at a night, uh, as a night. So it could be worth it here. It could be some sort of an engagement or something like that. We have the King of Swords. So, you know, just like um, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, we have divine counterparts show up here in uh, Taurus, Virgo's Capricorn reading. We have the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords show up. So two very thoughtful people, right? Very open-minded. Very cut to the chase here. Or not cut to the chase, but um, what is it? I mean, it could be um, something like that. I mean, they're very, they seem very knowledgeable here. They talk a lot here. Probably document a lot. This could be directing, so they probably record themselves a lot, whatever the case may be. Um, they know their way around a war with words and social media as well here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the two of wands, yeah. <laughs> social distancing. <laughs> Online. <laughs> this could be a long distance connection here. Or someone's planning something. Mm -hmm. They're viewing you. They're watching you from a distance. You know, this is a certain form of abstinence, the two of wands. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The nine of cups. Wish fulfillment here and contentment. 
Yeah. Again, someone's opening up their their star power here is what I'm getting. Yeah. So we have a celebrity. Someone's gonna be a celebrity. Someone's gonna be a celebrity. We got nine of cups and the star card. <laughs> Yo, whoever this earth sign is, they finna be mad successful. <laughs> or they're finna be mad content with themselves. Like the first card out is Virgo. The last card out is Nine of Cups. Like <laughs> going within oneself and unlocking the intuitive gifts, right? True love with themselves. Self care, self love, right? The hashtag that no one no one really knows what that feels like or what it looks like. I mean, it could be someone that realized what they're supposed to do with their life or something like that. I guess some people can uh, relate with that. Like I had a liver transplant. Most people can't relate with that. We have the temperance, earth angel activity, balance, right? Sagittarius, right? The DJ, the bartender. But this is someone that brings, um, also I'm getting a motivational speaker. Yeah, a wise counsel here. This can this can be someone that can be that can listen to both sides. Yeah, Queen of Swords is out. They listen to both sides and then they make a clear decision by mixing and uh, melting or mixing and mashing the two ingredients here. Mm. The Four of Wands, the Twin Flame card that comes out, a union. This could even be a home. Someone could be purchasing a home for the first time or some sort of a valuable item here, but it seems like it's a home here. Oh, or they're purchasing this item for a home, so obviously they already have one. But yeah, some sort of uh, finances or putting some sort of a money into a home. Not sure if it's like a first home buyer or something like that, whatever this case may be. But obviously someone's investing in the future, right? Your family or your home is your first business. We have the Ten of Swords. It's how you learn how to manage money financially. We have the Ten of Swords here on top of the King of Swords. So this could be teaching a bunch of people or this could be just <laughs> someone hungry for knowledge, right? They can't sleep, Ten of Swords, and they got some sort of a cycle, Ten of Swords. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a, <laughs> that was a black lady. She was pretty and fit too. She had to be in her 40s though. Mm -hmm. Not bad, you can tell though. Super chocolate. I think she had dreads in her hair or something like that. They was tied back. With the, um, of course, with the, what did she wear? Was she wearing like pink tights or something like that or purple tights? I don't know. I don't know. I can't even remember. I'm not even sure. But, um, yeah. So, you guys that like, uh, you know, park chicks or like, like the park, there's chicks out at the park for you. <laughs> this may be a message to someone. Maybe you should start going to parks, right? We have two of swords. You know you have to randomly think of what to think of when hmm, someone wants to talk to you, right? It's called a conversation. It's okay to have a conversation. We have two of swords, and then we have the ten of cups on top of nine of cups. So someone's getting their wish fulfillment here. This is the unseen, someone that wears glasses or something that goes over someone's head here. Someone not being honest with themselves. That's Libra energy also. So we could have the energy of Libra here. Now, what do we have here? The world at the bottom of the deck. I'm trying to figure out if this communication is subtle or not. But obviously, someone's reaching wish fulfillment, stardom, and celebrity. This could either be with themselves or this can be in a relationship that's coming up here. We have the king and queen of swords, which are divine counterparts. Let's see, pen pals or whatever this case may be. They're so good at writing and they're so good at um, using their voice. liking the video so far like share subscribe add value to the channel so that we continue to grow we should do more readings like this we have the full card aries taking a leap of faith right exploring adventuring could be could already be set on this adventure creating some sort of a star here or coming across some sort of a clue is what I'm getting the star card. Something's going to be illuminated with the sun. Yeah. For others, this could be pregnancy, but this could be inspiration striking a genius moment or genius thought or idea after taking action on some sort of a creative thought or idea. Maybe you just out in a walk in nature and a walk in the park in the woods along a riverbank or something like that. And you see something that inspires you or you find something, a gift, the sun card, 
temperance and the hermit. Yeah, you're a, so this is weird. So you're a healer, but you're you're someone that grounds other people. Like you could be a very down to earth person, 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 or a very cool and calm, collected person. And your voice, uh, the inflection of your voice changes people's opinion here. The vermin, the vermin. <laughs> he said, the, <laughs> the hermit card. So this is someone with powerful speech, and this is the way you make people feel. The hermit, right? People quiet down here. You know, the hermit is the virgin, very secretive. Uh, and then of course I mentioned these two, right? We all know who these are, the twin flames. <laughs> yep. It's the ghost, it's the host and the co-host, <laughs> the star and the co-star. <laughs> what else we got? Page of Pentacles or Knight of Pentacles, Page of Swords. Mm hmm communication a slow offer here it could be an Amazon package coming in maybe you went shopping online something's coming towards you in the mail possibly or wherever you receive gifts from do 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 what else we got oh wow we have the Three of Swords and I don't see another three. I thought I did. We have the Three of Swords. So this heartbreak here or whatever this is, it, at the beginning of the reading, it felt like some sort of a memory, like a bad memory or like somebody forgot about something or some someone is not willing to deal with what's inside of them. Maybe someone's afraid of what was inside of them, right? Jean Grey was always afraid that the phoenix would come out of her, right? She would unleash her full potential and she would uh, hurt people, right? Um, oh, there's the four, but I want to kill this mosquito. We have four of swords. That's creating a home for yourself or a twin flame union coming towards you. What else do we have other than the Two of Wands? Or did we have the Two of Wands? No. We have the Two of Swords. Oh, yeah, we did have the Two of Wands. So, this, to me, this is like a bad satellite is what I'm getting here. Yeah, someone could be having bad satellite or bad phone service here. Or someone's communication is blocked on social media, possibly. Or even possibly deactivated their account or something like that. Maybe someone's forbidden for saying something or going somewhere. It reminds me of... <laughs> it reminds me of that dude that I saw yesterday that had that ankle monitor on. Yeah. Someone's blocking communication or blocking travel or blocking access or whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, what other high court cards that we have other than the King and Queen of Swords? No, just the Page of Wands. Mm -hmm. and again, some sort of a new journey, some sort of a new, could even be some sort of a new idea like jogging, maybe hiking, this could be exercising. Could have a young athlete here. For the Earth signs, Four of Cups, and yeah, re refusing emotional advances at this time. This could even be meditative thoughts with your emotions, like tuning your emotions here, or whatever gift or talent this is. This could be singing or dancing. Five of Wands, training, right? A gathering. I don't necessarily think you're fighting with these people, but it could be a fight here. Six of Wands. Yeah, this could be them hoisting you up or something, right? Because you're seeing the same people around her, behind her with the uh, with the, wa the rods, and this is them. So you're rising above this situation, or these same group of people are going to be putting you on a pedestal, possibly. Or you could just be fighting for your right. What was that song? You got to fight for your right to party. Someone's um, not necessarily going on like a pilgrimage or having rites of passage. They're like, um, this could be be um, experiencing success for the first time or some sort of a fulfilled, uh, like, everyone has a bucket list. But, the, but for like, um, <laughs> not a list that you have to like, wait until you're going to die to fulfill. 
But yeah, this could be something that, um, like, say someone that never had confidence and they finally realized they had confidence. It could be something like that. Or like how superhero stories was born and, like, they never, they was like a regular person and all of a sudden they got all this potential that was unleashed. Right? So this is what's happening here in one story. We have actually two sixes. Yeah, so someone hermited themselves. This could have been some sort of a journey or some sort of a vacation here. I'm getting silence will help them a lot here. Yeah, we'll get to it. Six, no seven, so we'll get to it now. Eight of swords. Yeah, eight of pentacles. Eight of swords, eight of pentacles, eight of wands. Whatever you're doing, don't tell anyone here. I guess we can't stop people from talking. <laughs> but yeah. Don't tell anyone your personal business, whether you, it's moving or something like that, or if you're developing your finances. Um, not everything has to not be told. Like you run across people for business persons, business reasons and purposes, and it's like, oh, well, this runs hand in hand what I want to do with my life, right? Like my destiny, like my overall story at the end of the day. So, I mean, like if you're a content creator, you can exchange um your content with other people right your your pages and all that type of stuff but anything you do private like investing or whatever the case may be like your home address those types of things you want to keep to yourself here we did have a seven right it's that damn smoke screen card so use your intuition here someone may be someone may try to psych you out or someone may be trying to take advantage of your intuitive gifts or your um, empathic gifts at this time or the fact that they probably don't even know that you have empathic gifts. This is like what I say all the time about uh, psychics and relationships. How are you gonna try to date a psychic <laughs> and you gonna try to lie to them, right? And <laughs> when they're psychic. We have nine of cups, contentment. So again, self-love, self-care, having some sort of integrity here. Ten of swords and 10 of cups. Sleeplessness, anxiousness, right? All the things that we get um, could be some sort of a fear or nervousness. This could be a dream that you're. I mean, this is a dream that you're bringing into reality, but I don't know why someone's having bad thoughts, negative thoughts, possibly even nightmares about it. This could be a recurring dream here. But again, this is what happens. It's, it's almost reminding me of like a dark night of the soul type thing or some sort of a spiritual awakening, right? Like when you move around in your sleep. <laughs> yeah something like that the world right Sagittarius traveling energy the mer the her the uh, yeah astral traveling here mm hmm the Hierophant a religious figure or professional yeah you're some sort of a professional whatever you psychic gifts you have you're gonna be able to turn it into a professional um, art form or some sort of um, entrepreneurship or something like that could be someone's yeah someone's passion to travel is something as simple as that then we have the tower card scorpionic energy which is occultism magic and stuff like that so someone could be a, a traveling magician or whatever the case may be they have some sort of anointing or some sort of a power here you know, we saw the star card and uh, the um the sun come out so this could be like a celebrity or something like that Possibly someone with a lot of intuitive gifts here, a lot of gifts set out on the table here in the Seven of Cups, which is your intuition firing up. Yeah, this could be like adding several gifts to what you already have. Like as a healer, you know how to cook. As a healer, like what I say about therapy, you can give people music therapy, you can give people um, laugh therapy, you can give people all types of therapy, art therapy. It's something like that. This could be someone that owns a business and offers uh, multiple services, basically. But that was a cool reading here for you today, Earth Signs. Make sure you like, share, add, uh, like, share, subscribe, add value to the channel so that we continue to grow. I'm trying to get these readings done before the sun goes down. So, <laughs> on to the next.